Welcome back to Five Day Crypto. My name is Chase, level one CMT, full time trader. Chainlink, big things happening. I'm talking huge, huge things, never done before, very bigly. Let's get right to it. Uh, we'll start off on the monthly chart, then we got big surprise at the end, okay? Chainlink doing some massive, huge things, okay? First and foremost, let's talk about resistance, right? We're on the monthly chart. We don't look at the monthly often, but there's big things happening. First and foremost, like I said, the resistance, right? I know it's easy to FOMO here and think Chainlink's going to go to, you know, uh, the, the proverbial Sergey Van Gogh moon up there. Uh, and that might be coming. We might talk about that in a moment, but not yet, right? Where First and foremost, we have to get through this range. So why this range? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's put on closing prices. Previous, you know, rip to the top. This is when we went from $2 to 20 in the span of just a few months, right? Six months or so, $2 to 20. 10X by Senior Chainlink uh, back in the good old heydays of 2020 when barely anybody knew about it, right? So that was that, and that was our initial peak. Then fast forward, we have our initial drop back in June of 2021. That was the top of the zone around the $20 mark as well. So let's put it back on closing candles. This is the monthly chart. This is very big, right? Look at our resistance. Look at our resistance down here. The 50 month EMA resistance, tap, resistance, tap, resistance, tap. Are you catching a drift here? The 50 month, uh, six consecutive months, not consecutive, six months candles, all resistance and tapping perfectly off that 50 month broke through last month, October. Above all moving averages, just ripped to the upside. That was huge. After a dragonfly doji candle printed back in June of 2023, when everyone was screaming, $2 chain link, $1 chain link. No, right? Dragonfly doji on monthly says no. And you would not, you don't want to just wait for that one candle and you see that you're like dragonfly doji. I'm going all in. No, you got to wait for the follow-up confirmation candle. So it takes patience because these are monthly candles, but we got it right here. Bullish candle following dragonfly doji. It's very likely the low is in and now we have the low is in, right? Uh, bullish candle after dragonfly doji on the monthly chart. Good night. Right. Even though you made you a little pucker a little bit here, uh, going back down from, you know, our high of 844. And then we went back down the very next month to a low of 574. Yeah, that was a little scary, but still worked out very well. So uh, traders often look for that. Watch for the confirmation candle, then make the buy. So you would have made the buy at like 750 ish or so. Right. Right. At the close. Yeah, you would have been in the loss for a month, but then that was it, right? Then they lift you out of the abyss, and now we're we're knocking on the door hard of $14 as we speak. So our initial resistance zone on the monthly, this is going to be big, 15 to $20, right? That's a big span, but that's where we are. We can see a wick, right? You can see a lot of volatility. Look at all these wicks on Chainlink, right? Uh, wicks, of course. Uh, throwbacks. What if we What if we do hit here and go back? Where should we buy? Well, look at the previous bull run, uh, the EMA eight. Look at look how many taps the monthly after you get above it, right? After you get above it, uh, tap off the EMA eight, tap off the EMA eight, tap off the EMA eight. One, two, three. Any kind of move back down, it's the red EMA eight. So watch that like a hawk over the next two years, I would guess, right? Chainlink is likely going into its start of its new bull run, okay? Just like we did back in here, right? So that is the monthly, uh, the good news for Chainlink. The bad news is we just, we really need to break 20 again to really kick the wheels going. Now we've done a lot. Uh, this is the strongest Chainlink has been in years, exactly two years to be precise. So our RSI, a relative strength index is 57 now. The last time we were at 57, this strong, you got to go back to the crypto top of 2021, November, 2021. What month is it now? November 2023. Good job. Uh, two years since Chainlink has been this strong, right? On the monthly by definition. That's what we're looking at. Good things coming for Chainlink. Let's look at the moon, right? Let's look at the, the Van Gogh Sergey moon, right? It was up there. It's about $160. I think that's more or less where we could go for this run. Now, let's see how we could get there, right? So if we're going to go there, you know, somewhere around mid 2025, right? So let's let's just paint it out here, right? I like the I like the Van Gogh moon better. Let's 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 re, let's reverse that, right? You got to do just the sloppy Van Gogh Sergey moon up there, right? So somewhere 
above 100, probably less than 200, but I mean, who knows, right? Who knows? Well, let's, let's just do some arbitrary, arbitrary drawing here, right? Let's look at the, the previous, let's put on closing prices, draw it from our drops here, right? Let's look at this angle. We'll take a cut and dry approach. Now, obviously we're probably not going to repeat that, but we could, right? If we did, right? What would that look like? Would that, would that get us anywhere, right? Let's just take the, the cut and dry paste approach, right? So 2025, that takes us to, you know, depending on when we peak, July of 2025, 2025, that takes us to 200. If we keep these same angles, obviously it's going to take months to see. Not likely, right? Usually diminishing returns, lengthening cycles would likely have us, you know, down a little bit, right? We're probably going to be a little bit less of an angle. If you go look at Bitcoin cycles, each cycle tends to not be as extreme as the first. So even if we do get that, right, we're still looking at, you know, mid 100s or so. And this is, you know, again, very arbitrary, very early in the cycle. Uh, we can, you know, look more at this as things progress. Uh, but that is about as simplistic as you can make it, right? Uh, looking at just a monthly chart. We're above all moving averages. When is the last time we got above all moving averages? Well, we didn't really have them a whole lot last cycle, but you'd have to go with, you know, somewhere in this initial stage of the new bull run back in here. And we've just done that. We cut right through all of them. Big things happening, but not quite the biggest, right? What am I saving for the last? Well, also want to want to briefly touch on this. Heikinashi candles uh, tell you momentum, right? This is the monthly Heikinashi candles. Uh, the, these are opposite of traditional candles that you're used to. And the whatever side the wick is on is your momentum. So, and, and the you know, top wick, it goes bullish momentum candle body big candle body big momentum to that side bullish momentum bullish momentum on the monthly any bearish momentum hell no no wick on the bottom no wick on the bottom two consecutive months so far i know it's early november but no bearish move at all when's the last time we saw that i mean you got to go back to you know 18 months ago right we're going to february or excuse me 30 months ago right we're looking like back in this area uh April, early 2021, right? We're probably approaching three years once we get to, you know, uh, anything, you know, consecutive like this. But this is big things happening for Chainlink. Big breakout here. So don't take this lightly. Even if we get a move back down, $9, $10 area, as I've said in previous videos, that's where we're looking at. Go check your weekly charts by the throwbacks, right? So now what am I talking about? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's look at Senior Gaussian Channel. The Gaussian Channel on the monthly. Whoa, flipping back to support over here, resistance, red, bearish, and look at what is happening in November. Is this, is this the news? Not quite, but this is pretty good. So we started here. We're in the upper tier of the monthly Gaussian channel for Chainlink, but bigger than that, the five-day Gaussian channel, you guessed it. We are now green with price action above it. This just happened. So price action above, I think, with our last video just two days ago, we made uh, this could potentially happen in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Chainlink is not waiting any longer. We are now green on the five-day Gaussian channel for Chainlink against the U.S. dollar with price action above it. That doesn't mean prices go up infinitely, immediately, up only mode. Of course not. But this means the very likely the bottom is in. And if, if you're buying anywhere in this area, Right in the years from the years ahead, six months, one year, eighteen months, two years, you're going to be well rewarded. Right, that's go go look at the five day Gaussian channel on any coin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, anything with enough data, and you're going to see that that system works out quite well for you. So here we are. We've been waiting for uh, ninety seven years uh, per per rows. Uh, <laughs> seems like it, right? Uh, sideways consolidation over five hundred days. We now have price action above check mark. And our second check mark just came in. Green Gaussian channel on the five day chain link. It's go time. Word to your mother. All right, let's get to our quarter of the day and car of the day, of course. November 8th. It is not enough to have a good mind. The main thing is to use it well. Good one. <laughs> let's get to our car of the day. Uh, McLaren 600 LT in my favorite color. The chartreuse got a couple over there uh actually have this 600 lt in the blue they didn't come in this color so that's why i don't have it but it's right there in the blue 
Uh, that over to that side, that is an Aston Martin uh, Vantage Roadster. So we'll talk more about that later. But uh, McLaren 600 LT, there's the front version. Here's the side version. I love the absolute doors up cut through. I mean, that just looks uh, pretty stellar. Mountains in the background, black wheels. I love it. Uh, let's see what the rear looks like. Probably the best rear on most any McLaren, certainly for the price point. Uh, look at the exhaust. One of the only McLarens that have the, the roof exhaust, so to speak. I call it roof exhaust. It goes almost straight up. It's up and back, but uh, most McLaren exhausts are out, out this side, right? As most supercars. This one goes up. You can actually roast marshmallows. There's actually videos of that online. Uh, people like uh, roasting and cooking things off of this. I don't know how that would taste, but uh, also you might notice... Look at all the carbon fiber. The whole back is carbon. Look at the best diffuser in the game right here. Carbon fiber, full diffuser, the carbon fiber rear bumper. But what's more interesting is what the hell's up with this wing, you might ask. Why is this two-tone? What do you think? So it doesn't melt on the, on the road as this exhaust shoots flames out uh, the back, right? You've got to like put the middle of this uh, spoiler in titanium alloy so it doesn't melt, right? Then you got the carbon on the outside to save the weight, but uh, pretty unique. Uh, then the, obviously the convertible, awesome, right? You can see the engine through there. Absolutely spectacular McLaren 600 LT. I'll take it in that color, right? All right, I'll see you on the next one. Chain link, good news for everyone, right? As long as you have some chain link. All right, hope you got some. If you want to buy more, you got to be patient. Wait for the throwback. Monthly EMA 8 or EMA 21 on the weekly, daily, right? Those are the levels. You buy the throwback. Right? In a bull market, you buy the dip. In a bear market, you sell the rip. Word to your mother.